Good morning everyone, welcome back to today's vlog. It is Tuesday, the day before this goes up. Um, it's been pretty busy with my life, it's been kind of hectic. My work has been very heavy, um, so I haven't really been able to film at work. That means like my home life is very um, overwhelming because I just don't have the mental capacity to finish anything at work. I mean at home. Um, and we have a surprise over the weekend. We actually got kittens. Um, so we're not sleeping well because they're crying. Um, they're eight weeks old um, and my sister brought them down from Gettysburg over the weekend so I didn't vlog. I just had a very busy weekend. Um, so I want to show you the kittens real quick. But then I have to go to work. So today is going to be a working vlog. Ollie has not been to daycare since Thursday not last Thursday, the Thursday before that, um, and it's now Tuesday, so almost two weeks. Um, he was sick for a while, which I vlogged, um, and then the day Claire closed, closed due to having COVID cases. Two of the teachers plus three of the kids had COVID, um, so they all closed. Thank God Ollie wasn't there. <laughs> so he didn't have COVID. I got him tested like four times, no COVID, and then... <clears throat> no sharp throat so it was just cold um but i'm gonna show you the kittens real quick and then i have to go i have to wake up lily she wants to start getting up at 6 30 um due to like her going back to school soon and she has to be at school at 7 30 which means we have to leave the house at like 7 15 um so she has to be up and ready um so we're gonna start getting back into the flow of school routines and ollie's going to school as well so i have to like really get him together the night before so i think i might film like um a working mom's like night routine for like back to school if you would like to see that let me know in the comment section down below um but let me show you the kittens so we have a towel down because we really want them to like put their scent all over things um and then we can you know bring it down to thea this is loki he's all black hello little loki Hi, he's a boy. And then that is Sylvie. She's a calico mix of orange, white, and black. And her name is Sylvie. They're sisters, or they're sister and brother. They're eight weeks. Um, yeah, so we're really trying to get their scent on everything so we can take it down to the end and maybe get them. Hey, hey, don't do that. Oh, okay, it's a string. Never mind. They are very playful. And they do sleep a lot. I will say they slept pretty much all last night. But when they can't get down and they have to use the restroom or um, they want some food, they're, they cry because they can't get off the bed. But they are so sweet. Here's just another shot of Sylvie. She's honestly the more playful one. And Loki just likes to kick back and sleep. So... There she goes. <laughs> Thea is not very happy about the new kittens, right? Are you okay? Okay. Hopefully we can transition them in a better way. Um, so she hears them and she knows they're here, but she's just been like hissing at them and freaking out. So I don't know. It's just going to take a couple of weeks. Right, Thea? Yeah, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. This one is not happy about going back to school after two weeks of being home. Two weeks of being home? Are you ready to go to school? No. No? Why not? No. Okay. Yeah, so like I said, he hasn't been to school in like two weeks and he's kind of giving me a hard time about going. Um, but I really have to go to work, so um, we're going to have to be heading out in the next five minutes. I'm going to get everything packed. I actually woke up, like, extremely late because my alarm was going off, but it was on the lowest setting, so I can't couldn't hear it. Um, so I didn't get up until 545. My house is a hot mess because I like to clean in the morning. So I'll have to do all this when I get home. Um, and I did decorate for Halloween. That video will be up eventually, and I did get my rug, and I love it. This is the rug. 
I got it from Ruggable. I'm now waiting for a rug to go into my kitchen. But how awesome is this? It's so spooky. All right, so I'm at work. I'm at the parking lot. I just got off the phone with Anthony. Ollie threw a huge tantrum when I took him to daycare. He hasn't been there in like two weeks. Um, if you guys would like to see like a back to school haul for Ollie, let me know. Lily's is already like filled. I filled up her bag. Um, but I do have to get her like some essentials for like her bag for the front. So like if anything happens, like she'll have stuff. Um, so I'll be doing that. Uh, but I actually have to go in. I'm get handing out COVID tests for like the cops. So that's what I'll be doing today. It's going to be like extremely busy I'm going to the gym. Um, I'm just like trying to get my life together. I'm also not at the front anymore. They actually hired somebody else to take my position up front. And I am like stepping back from that position and taking the role as like the lead in my section. So I have like four people under me. And I'm just like super overwhelmed at work. So if I don't film at work, that's what's going on. It's just really busy and I'm stressed. So I'm just like all over the place. I do have a couple of folders to update and um, address changes I have to do. And I'm training. So I'm just like doing that all day. Um, but like I said, I have to give out COVID tests from like 8 to 11. Um, so that's what I'll be doing for like three hours. So I just want to get myself prepared, get all the COVID tests out and just like fix my list because it's all messed up from yesterday so I'm just gonna head into work all right so it's about 4 15 I just got off of work it's been honestly a really stressful day first we had like three hours of people coming in and sorry in advance if you can't hear me because I have my air on full blast it is 97 degrees out the humidity is absolutely terrible um, I spent three hours in the morning giving out COVID tests. I took a break and got some Starbucks because I'm honestly mentally like over everything going on. Um, I have a lot of stress with this because people just don't listen and it's like um, a lot of back and forth with people because they only have a certain amount of time and when they come in afterwards um, we have to deny them and tell them to come back tomorrow. So it's like it's just a lot of back and forth. I'm like way behind on all of my work because it's stays basically like sitting on my desk because I had to reprint things out and reorganize the whole system. It's just a hot mess. So yeah, I'm I just find I just finally got my desk put like together. Um but yeah, it's just it's a mess. I'm also training um, a new girl at my position, so it's a lot of me answering questions and me just like, it's a lot of me just like shadowing things and um, pretty much like telling her what to do. Um, and then we had, to, I had a meeting as well today, so I had no time to record anything. Um, luckily, Anthony picked up Ollie this, today at like three o'clock, so I don't have to go out and get him. I just can go straight home. Anthony also made dinner for me. Hopefully he brought the kittens downstairs and locked Thea down the basement. So that's pretty much what we're doing when it comes with the cats. Um, we know that we're supposed to like transition them. We can't like just shove Thea in a room with them or like all hell will break loose. Um, but we're pretty much allowing the kittens free reign when we come home because Thea has free reign of the whole house. And we want their scent to be within the house so at around like four um the kittens get let loose into the living room and they're allowed to do whatever um they're mostly honestly just sleep sleeping at this point because they're only eight weeks um and thea does go upstairs and like go near our bedroom door um it's always closed she's not allowed in there uh but she goes up there sniffs and then turns away um and you can just tell by her face that she's not happy so yeah, she's just not happy right now. We'll eventually like slowly introduce them. We're not trying to like um, just overwhelm Thea and get her all upset. Um, I do have a towel, like I said this morning, in my bedroom that they're laying on and I'm gonna give it a couple of days so their scent is like really on there and put it down the basement and see how she reacts to it. Um, and then I'm gonna wash it, <laughs> give it to Thea and hopefully she'll lay on it and then I'll give it to the kittens and see how they'll react to her. React to her. Um, I did have like Loki in my hand one day just to like show her that the kittens are in the house. 
um, because Thea was like more agitated that like my brother and sister were over. She didn't even notice the kittens were there. Um, she basically stayed downstairs the entire time, like down the basement. So we eventually like brought one of the kittens down so she knew that they were in the house. She was hissing at Loki and Loki was just like kind of like meowing at her. Um, so I don't really know how they're going to interact once they finally get together, but I, it's gonna definitely be like a slow process with Thea. I feel like this is gonna take like weeks or months. She's just not acclimated to like new faces. We had this problem with the other kitten we had, but that kitten was literally like clawing me every night. Um, it was the clawed in the front. Um, so it was biting me and clawing me in the, with its back paws and it was just, you know, harassing me every day. These kittens are pretty much like normal kittens. They're playing and sleeping and just being normal. So I'm not having any problems with them. They're not traumatized or anything like the last kitten. So I think we're gonna have like an easier time this time, um, especially cause I'm not pregnant and exhausted. So yeah, I feel like this is just gonna be a lot better. Um, I'm hoping that it transitions better. Uh, but yeah, I'm on my ride home. I'm gonna listen to some music. I did call Anthony, but he didn't answer. He's probably just making dinner. Um, yeah, and this is what we're doing. I don't really know what we're doing for the rest of the night, but I kind of feel like I should com continue to record and show you guys the kittens and how Ollie reacts to them. Um, it's just, yeah. All right, I feel so bad because I do like doing my like working vlogs, but I can't do them if I'm like so busy that I can't even, like I don't even sit at my desk anymore. Like. I have so much going on that I'm just up all day running around. I haven't been to the gym in the last two days because I've just been so mentally drained from this job. Um, I haven't even been able to enjoy, like I decorated my desk and everything. I haven't even been able to enjoy that because I, I can't even sit at my desk. So yeah, eventually we'll get back to like our normal vlogs and it's gonna be amazing. But for right now, it's just, it is not happening. We're home and the kittens are laying in Lily's room. She's so excited. Yay. <laughs> Hi, little Sylvie. You look so cute today. Lily has claimed Loki for her own. Loki is mine. No one else. Hi, Loki. On the first one that he went to, that just means that he chose me. I didn't choose him. And she likes to play, so Ollie has said that this is her, his cat. So, who knows? I think she likes me more than Ollie. But Loki likes me the best. Okay. <laughs> Here. So cute. Alright, Lily's gonna hang out with them for a while while... We're downstairs with Thea. It's like eight o'clock now. Um, I'm just spending some time like doing my stuff. I did happen to edit like pretty much all of this video until this portion. Um, I've just been sitting around with Ollie. He's been in a real weird way of like just taking my phone and watching it. So I'm like stuck being like productive while he has my phone. Um, unfortunately, I'm not cleaning this house tonight um, because I'm like so exhausted. I've talked about this this morning, but like being like mentally exhausted is different from physical exhaustion. Like I can power through the physical physical exhaustion. The mental just takes over my entire body. Like I am so tired. My body is fine. Like I can continue to move, but like my head. I'm just over it like I can't I can't even see straight anymore of how like crazy my head is going um it's bad I'm so tired and I can't wait for this week to like be over so I can finally just like start to settle down into my position um and just work on my workload um and be okay so I'm just uh super overwhelmed not only at work but it's starting to hit me at home as well because my house is just a hot mess i've been trying to decorate like fully for halloween for over two weeks now and the stuff is just all over my house 
and when my house is like super cluttered i get overstimulated and it's just it makes me even feel even worse um so i just can't wait to like clear out all of the bins and stuff i brought home the bin full of stuff from my work so all of my like just normal decorations from work is in that bin i'm gonna take it downstairs until halloween's over um and then i'll take all that stuff back and maybe decorate for christmas we'll see but yeah i'm just like really tired um the kittens are just hanging out with lily still i have to go up and um get them out of her room hopefully they just didn't do anything bad while she was up there um so i'm really glad that i already edited and got all this done and like i said i'm pretty much just like trying to figure out what i should be doing every day i'm like oh this is a list i have to do and then it just adds on till till to the next day until i'm on to the weekend and i haven't gotten everything done or anything at all and that's what happened this weekend but this weekend i had so much going on friday my friends came over along with nick and tara and we had like a game night and that was like completely unexpected saturday my sisters came my sister and brother came down for um the weekend and stayed until like mid sunday so i literally could not get anything done i didn't even go food shopping because i'm trying to start doing it on friday and go show food shopping until saturday my whole morning was gone my sister came kittens were all over sunday came and that's when i had to like continue to do everything so i really need to stick to like me going food shopping on fridays and getting my stuff done on saturday so i can like just have one day to relax because i feel like my workload is just too big during the week to try and get everything done on a sunday um but yeah i'm just like over here complaining i haven't even filmed a tiktok this week i'm just like so behind on everything it's insane um i'm just i'm feeling it guys i'm really tired it's starting to hit me um i don't want to like burn myself out and that's why i kind of gave myself this weekend to just not vlog and i miss the vlog and but i don't want to get into um the habit of missing them um i did miss one recently as well like i missed two so i'm trying to like get back into the habit of getting stuff done in advance so i did record me decorating it's just not finished yet um so that will be a, a video um also i'll be taking off about a week in the upcoming weeks because ollie will be transitioning from daycare to school um full time so his daycare is actually closed the 25th and the 26th so thursday and friday and ollie does not start until the first so he will be out of school from thursday to wednesday so i will be home with him relaxing doing what we need to do and i'll probably be vlogging and getting his stuff ready so be sure to subscribe so you're being up to date on all that stuff um but i'm probably gonna end the video here because i really need to get the kittens into my room and kind of just like i just want to relax and take this makeup off i'm just over today um i have one more day of covid testing handout so hopefully after tomorrow i will be in a better mood uh so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if it did make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel and leave any questions in the comments in the comment section down below I answer every single comment. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.